they're so pretty. Oh, they just smell so good. I mean, what? Oh, 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 it's inside. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> as we laugh, play, and celebrate the beauty that is flowers. We have so many people here to help us learn. Michael helps us illustrate our flower story as we create together with images from the Wimage app. <laughs> so fun. Miss Colleen shows us a website that can help identify any plant or flower in our yard. Oh, so cool. And finally, Joanne shares with us a book on how we can have our very own garden of flowers! <laughs> I think with all the flowers, this may be our prettiest episode yet of Wimmy's Words! All right, let's get rolling with this song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Sing along with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. It's raining capital Z's and lowercase B's, a couple of D's and a few little C's. It's a crazy thing, I'm getting all wet. Not cats and dogs, but the alphabet. <laughs> Grass! I love it. It's raining capital Z's and lowercase B's. Couple of D's and a few little C's. It's a crazy thing, I'm getting all wet. But the green beans and the grass love it. <laughs> it's a crazy thing, I'm getting all wet. But the apples are growing and saying, woohoo, rain. We love it. The rain is helping the apples grow. And the beans and the grass are like, woohoo. Do you like the rain? How do you feel about the rain? I think rain's pretty fun. It's uh, refreshing. You know, sometimes it can kind of change your plans and you're like, oh no, but the rain helps all things grow. The flowers, we get to enjoy these flowers because of the rain. You know, like they say, April showers bring, do you know what? May flowers, oh, oh, oh. It's crazy thing, I'm getting all wet, but the flowers say, yes, we love the rain. Thank you, rain, ha <laughs> ha. Well, friends, let's check in with our friend, did you know that in each state, our country has a special flower called a state flower? Yep, in Michigan, our state flower is the apple blossom. Apple trees have pink and white flowers on them called apple blossoms that become apples. <laughs> I like to eat apples. Yep. I'm glad that there are a lot of apple trees with apple blossoms near me. Yeah, I wonder what flowers are near you. Oh, if you want to share with us any particular flowers that you enjoy, maybe they're outside near you, maybe as you travel around and go to parks or different places, um, tell us. Uh, what flowers do you see? Oh, 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 trees! Trees do. They like the rain, right? All right, it's time for... Are you ready? Three sentence story. Beginning, middle, end. So, we're going to write a story. Right now, share with us, please, a person, place, or thing, also known as nouns. And uh, we'll come up with a story in the first sentence. I'll set the scene, get things established. Then in the second sentence, there is a problem! No! <laughs> Oh, but good news, because in the third sentence, we've got our solution. Think of this in many ways, too, as like the outline for a story. We could add more details, right? Oh, wheelbarrow. Excellent. Okay, the story begins with the word wheelbarrow. Hmm. I'm thinking of how to start this. Okay. Last fall, we filled up our wheelbarrow with dirt and waited to see in the spring what might sprout. Ho, 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 that's exciting. It's an old wheelbarrow, and we decided to fill it up with dirt 
And uh, I wonder what's going to sprout out of the wheelbarrow, out of the dirt, I guess, the dirt in the wheelbarrow. But, uh, oh no, there's a problem. Oh, ho, ho, ho. did we forget to do something last year with the soil in the wheelbarrow? Did something happen? Oh, orchid. Ha, ha, ha. That's a beautiful flower. Okay, orchid. The problem lies in orchid. All right, here we go. Last fall, we filled up an old wheelbarrow with soil to see what would sprout this spring. We looked close into the dirt and, oh man, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm, uh, hmm, the orchid's gonna cause the trouble. Team backstage, if you got any help for me, <laughs> I am trying to figure out, sometimes that happens with writing. You get, you get to a point where you feel like, hmm, uh, maybe the orchid couldn't, maybe, oh, maybe we were t too many orchids sprouted. Oh, that would be, wait, is that a problem? Oh, it took over the yard. Whoo, Christine, you were there for me. Thanks. Okay, so too many, yep, yep, got it. Okay, okay, too many orchids. Okay, okay, from, I'm going to start from the top. Last fall, we filled up our wheelbarrow with some soil to see what would sprout in the spring. We realized we put too many orchids in there and it was overflowing and orchids were taking over the entire neighborhood. Got it. Thanks, Christine and family and friends for helping out with that. Um, let's see. So now we need a solution. Too many orchids. Ice cream. Ha 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 ha. Great. Sapphire and Paloma. And I'm so excited to see you guys tuning in in Williams because later in the show. Okay, I won't, I won't tell too much right now. I'll stay focused on the... Um, uh, ice, ice cream is the solution. Okay, got it. From the top, friends. Last fall, we filled up an old wheelbarrow with soil to see what would sprout in the spring. Turns out we put in too many orchid seeds and it had orchids everywhere. They were taking over the neighborhood. We decided to have an ice cream party and invite everybody over to take home as many orchids as they wanted. Whoo! I think we did it. I think we solved it because we shared the orchids with everybody! <laughs> and had some ice cream. Yep. Wheelbarrow, orchid, ice cream. You know, it's not a bad day when ice cream is the solution. Ice cream does often solve a lot of things, right? It's time, friends, to go to Michael in the Grand Rapids Wimage Lab to see what he's got going for today's Wimage. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hey, Wimmy, how are you, friends? <laughs> I'm, what, uh, I'm thinking about the ice cream solution party and orchids for everybody that's it that's... you know what i think you're absolutely right orchids typically don't cause any trouble but in this case potentially because too much orchids um you know could be a little bit yeah. you know of an issue for the neighborhood yeah. but of course the ice cream is always there to share you know and they do say too much of a good thing is not a good thing. So Not that a good of, thing. That, yeah. Applies. So, yeah. Um, friends and everyone yeah. watching, um, look what we started. So today oh, we're oh, showing oh, and oh, we're oh, featuring oh, the Wimmy uh, Wimage uh, web-based platform. So I'm because excited. you opened up the song with the alphabet song, can you see yeah. what it's raining? Oh, it's raining capital V's, lowercase C's, yep. and A's and W's and I's and C C and oh, M. <laughs> w. I M E E. Oh, no way! That's my name. <laughs> we spelled your name in here, Remy. It's raining me. Awesome. So we've got the beginning of the setting, um, and we said ice cream. You know, first of all, let's put. Uh, you said a neighborhood, so let's yeah. add um, some homes to. Oh yeah. The show neighborhood. So, Remy, okay. I'm going to press the plus button. Okay. And I'm going to add a home because oh, yeah. a couple different homes can represent a neighborhood, which is what we're trying to do here. Like, nice. um, so how do you spell home or house? H. Which which one uh, would you like? Well, let's try home and then try house too to see what we compare. Okay. H O M E. Okay, we're going to add image. Oh, look at that! Ooh. Nice. Let's go with this one. Yeah. Okay, we'll place this one right there. And should we make it bigger, smaller? Mm, I kind of like that size because it feels okay. like it's in the background from the flowers and the party. Yeah. So what color should we make our home? Uh, based on what I see right now, let's go with orange. Orange. Okay. So I'll press the color button. And this is orange right here. And with this, I can go, you know, show a different variants of orange. Light, dark. Uh, you guys will be able to see soon. 
How about that? Nice. Uh, let's go with that right there. Awesome. So then we're done and we can duplicate, but you wanted to see what the word house would oh, visualize, yeah. correct? Let's try it. So let's new image. How do you spell house, Wimmy? H-O-U-S-E. Awesome. H-O-U-S-E is how we spell house, boys and girls. And so I press the plus button. And because it's Ooh. the same yeah. word, we are getting the same images. But let's scroll down a little bit to see okay. what we see. Ooh, Ooh, the one with the tree. Ooh, this one. Or either one. You, Yeah. Awesome. And let's put this one over here. How about we make this one bigger because it's probably the biggest house on the block. Okay. Okay. So we're going to increase it. Look at that. Just by nice. pressing my increase button. And nice. what color should that one be? I think purple. Purple. Okay, so yeah. we'll go to the color. Yeah. We'll go to purple. We'll X out. And now we've got to add our solution, which is the ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Oh, let's so, use, um, yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. How do you spell ice cream, Wimmy? Um, I-C-E-C-R-E-A-M. And if we put, or uh, E-A-M, I made a mistake. If we put a space in there, though, that would then be two words. That'd be tricky. Yes. So let's try it with one ice word. Cream. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Ooh, how about we put an ice cream truck because the solution is the ice cream truck is going yeah. to share the ice cream around the neighborhood. I love it. Watch this. Man. Oh, it's going to drive. Gonna, yes, watch. I'm going to color it red. And then I'm going to... I'll do the ice cream truck music. Ready? Ice cream! Get your ice cream! Then take orchids as you go! Awesome! This is so cool, Michael! Tell you what, if you want to add anything to it later, it's up to you, but we'll check back with you. And I love the ice cream truck going through and the orchids. Oh, and a bike! We could add a bike to it. Yeah, because people from the neighborhood are riding over. Nice. Awesome. Well, I, well, I will keep, yeah. I'll keep working on it, and um, you keep telling us beautiful stories, and we'll finish watching the rest of your show. Uh, uh, if you have time, come back to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got we to gotta come back to you because we got to see a library and more of the neighborhood and family. And did you catch all that? Check the comments as you're working on it. You got to <laughs> keep will. up with everybody. That's a lot, Wendy. Okay? okay, okay. Okay, you got, you got time. You got time. All right, friends. Man, oh, man. It's time to go to Holly for Language Explorers to find out how to say today's words in Mandarin Chinese. Hi, Holly. Hi. <laughs> ice cream party and orchids. Ooh, that Ooh. sounds a lot of fun. I want yeah. some ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream? Ooh, um, mint chocolate chip Ooh. and also just the standard chocolate vanilla mix. Ooh, I like birthday cake flavored ice cream. So like kind of like a cake batter. So I don't really like to eat cake anymore because I think cake is too sweet. But I love when ice cream tastes like cake. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, friends at home, share with us what ice cream you might enjoy yeah. the most too. So how do we say uh, today's words? Today's Chinese. words. So the first word is wheelbarrow. Chinese, it's show tui chu. Show tui chu. Show means hand. Tui means to push. Chu means like car or cart. Nice. I love it. I love how these translate and what it means. The next one, orchid. Lan hua. Lan hua. Nice. Are those two separate? Words yeah, there. so lan is kind of, it's a orchid, um, and then hua means flower. Ooh, nice. And the next one, bing chi lin. So it kind of sounds like ice cream a little bit, so it's kind of a transliteration that I talked about before. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Holly. We'll hey, see you at the dance party. Time, ho, ho, friends. It is time for a flower edition of Tech Talk. Uh, hi, Colleen. Hi, Wimmy. Hi, viewers. How are all the kids out there? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it looks like you're in a garden. Where are you? Yeah. So I am actually at the East Grand Rapids branch in our story time room. Oh. And yeah, we have these cool, we decorated it to look really neat. So uh, I actually got to use it today. We all vie for, um, uh, now that we're doing all of our programs at KDL online, um, yeah. we've been, yeah, everybody wants to use the fun room to to do their recordings and stuff but we are going to start doing some outside stuff so while you're outside um, doing story times and different programs for the libraries this summer um, one thing that you might do is see a lot of plants as you're um, out there and there is a really cool site it's plantnet.org when you look at the site, there's uh, there's actually different apps you can use on your phone, which I have mine on my phone, and I love going to um, out in the woods and things and taking a snapping a photo of it and then checking to see what the plant is. But if you're at home, there's the PlantNet online version, and uh, it lets you yeah identify different plants. It tells you all about it. You can add the image right there. It's got different things that have been pulled up, and I did a quick little. Um, little search on the on the flowers that you have on your desk oh, Winnie. You and I think it's campanula oh. or bellflower they come in a oh. whole variety of colors I, I believe that's what it is it's hard to tell because it's so far away but yeah. Um, but yeah we can definitely check it out so all kinds yeah. of really cool stuff but anyway yeah. I digress I could spend all day on this <laughs> <laughs> I love it well thanks for telling us about yeah. that website hope the kiddos like it too I love it. I'm going to go check out more on this. You got me thinking about that. And I'm going to look around for some other flowers, too. Yeah, and, um, just snap a garden. photo of it and figure it out. Yeah. I love it. Thanks, Colleen. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Friends, Sibley's with us here for one of his fun little jokes. What kind of flower grows on your face? Think about it. Oh, you're going to get it. Oh, you're going to be like, oh, ha, ha. ready? Tulips. <laughs> oh, man, tulips. <laughs> Friends, we love books. It's time for Check Out This Book. Hi, Joanne. Hi, friends. Hi, Wimmy. How are you today? Good. I'm excited to find out more about these flowers and tulips. Right? Tulips on my face. That's funny. So, exactly. Well, this book I'm going to share today okay. is A Backyard Flower Garden for Kids. Nice. Um, it's part of a series that is published by Mitchell Kane Publishers, and it's um, in Gardening for Kids is the series. This one is by Amy Jane Levitt, and um, it has five chapters that give us a bunch of different ideas about where to put the plants we want in our garden, what to grow, um, what kinds of flowers we can plant that will attract butterflies or even hummingbirds. They also uh, talk about the kinds of um, flowers that you can eat, like dandelions and lavender or violets. Um, sometimes those are used for cake decorations because they candy them. Um, you can even eat carnations. Who knew? Really? Uh, it also talks about the planting process, getting the ground ready and putting the seeds in or planting uh, the plants that are already kind of sprouting. Um, ideas for planting if you don't live at a house or an apartment that has a large space uh, for a big garden that you could still make container gardens. And then there's also some crafting ideas in it. It's such a terrific book and I hope you um, come to the library and check it out for yourself, borrow it or uh, find it at a local bookstore. But it's super fun, a backyard flower garden for kids. Lots of great information. I had a good time looking at it. It's got pictures of my favorite flowers, pansies and roses. So cool. It's amazing how much there's to know about flowers and plants. That's well, thank right. You. Thank you, Joanne. I will definitely look for it at the library. I'll Bye -bye. see you later. <laughs> Wimmy sat down, looked around the room, and began to wonder. He dreamed of a zebra and a dog getting dressed up for a party in the park. Hey, I'm not sure if I should wear my bow tie. Or my regular tie. I think they both look very nice. 
Oh, thanks. I'm hoping there's going to be some music. I just love to dance. Ba -ba -do -ba 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, and I think Grandma's coming, and she's bringing her potato salad. Hey, guys, I think it's time to go. Let's get moving. I love it. I love it. Man, friends, I'm excited about this. We we uh, reached out to a few friends to send us some flowers from around uh, around the country. So check this out. Some flowers across the USA. Hi, everyone. I'm Kim. I'm here in Metuchen, New Jersey, and I want to show you one of my favorite flowers. This is called a trumpet honeysuckle, and it's a climbing vine. And one of the reasons I like it so much is that it attracts hummingbirds. And it's shaped like a trumpet, that's where it gets its name. And hummingbirds like to stick their little beaks in there and get some food. This is called a bearded iris. And I like it because it's one of the first things that pops up in the spring. It gives my garden a lot of color. And um, I also like irises because they come in many different colors. They, we actually have some that are white and yellow some are tricolored, which means they have three different colors all on one iris. This is a black-eyed Susan. Hummingbirds, birds, and butterflies love this flower. So this is a Mexican hat in Texas. It's like a daisy, but they call it a Mexican hat. Pretty cool. Can you see the little part to it that makes it look like a hat? Hi, we're from Maui, and we're going to show you all of these types of flowers. These are gardenias. They have little black bugs. They smell like heaven. <laughs> this is pink anthurium. It also comes in white. This is a black anthurium. This is a Tahitian pineapple. It's not for eating, it's only for decorating. This is called a panax, and the leaves are very soft and, and very fluffy. These are gingers. They come in hot pink, pink, and red and white. These are my helicordia. They're dangling and yellow. These are a red and little heliconia. This is called a green ice. These are different kind of orchids. I took them from my yard. Oh man, so cool. Thanks for sending those in, friends. All right, so. Uh, let's check in with Michael and see if he's added to today's image. Hey, Michael, did you make some updates? Look what we've got. <laughs> oh, 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 we've added everything. Wow. We've also, I was just so inspired by those flowers. Um, I'm actually going to add those different states. As you can see, the top right, I've added Hawaii. Oh, nice. Because I think we will probably want to travel there. Yeah. Um, but you know, we've got the bird is going to get there before we do. So <laughs> there he goes. I'm going to Hawaii guys. Um, and I've got one other thing, you know, that makes a complete neighborhood and I'm going to add, um, care. Ooh. Let's see what images we get for care. Nice. Ooh, let's go with this one or which one should we go with? Wimmy? I'm thinking where to put it in the design. Mm -hmm. um, How about this one? I can't see which one. Go for it. This yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they could go up at the top, in the top yeah. left between the letters. A loving neighborhood. I love it. And we can color that red. Great job, Michael. Oh man, we gotta get to uh, we gotta get to find it fast. Are you ready? Oh, let's let's do it. Let's do it, friends. For today's find it fast, we invite you to find something that starts with the letter F for flower. Find a photo or a drawing of a flower, and find something that grows. Go. That's what you got, Michael. So my last name, Hyacinth, is a flower. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think I stopped growing. <laughs> but um, 
The kaleidoscope. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at those flowers on there. Look at those flowers. I love it. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, the number four. And there's Miss Williams from Hawaii. And Joe Food. I love it. <laughs> food, flowers, French fries. Two points. Ding, 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 ding. For Grandma and Grandpa. Two points. <laughs> oh, Joanne. Oh, 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 yeah, Joanne. What you got? It's my watering can that has a white flower on it. I love it. I love it. Nice. Oh man, so many possibilities. What you got, Michael? Well, unfortunately, the show is getting ready to finish. Oh, finish! That starts with F. Yes, but before, I want to thank everybody for watching. What a wonderful show. Women, you did great. Our friends in Hawaii, Texas, and New Jersey, we thank you. Um, We wish you all well, and um, let's embrace the summer together and smell the flowers. Flowers! Look at, we've got finger up. Print of flower and herbs. Haha, <laughs> herbs girl. Oh, thanks, Joe. We love you too. It was fun having you on the show the other day. Oh, yes. man. It's just so fun being connected, working together, creating together. So, friends, it is time for today's dance party at home. Get ready to dance with us. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Holly. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Julianne. Thanks, Jermaine. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great, Fonterra by Smart, Meyer, and with additional support from these great partners.